in the studio to give us their perspectives uh, and also to tell us what they will be doing as we bring you the Cricket World Cup on SABC Sport. Let's start out with the lady, Cass Naidu, the head of G Sports, the woman who breaks sure that women's sport is looked after. But now you're refocusing your eye on the Cricket World Cup. You're going to be in the studio. You're going to have late nights. Tell us uh, how late, when can we, if I'm new to cricket, there's a Cricket World Cup. What time do I need to be ab awake and watching it? Well, you don't have to miss work. That's the great part about this World Cup because if you're a person who really doesn't need much sleep, you can watch the cricket overnight and you can brag about your team's results when you get to work the next morning. So you'll get a game that probably starts around midnight and ends at 8 o'clock. You get a game that starts around 3 and ends at 11 in the day. And if you want to sneak off after dropping off the kids from school, you can catch the end of a, a late game which starts around 5.30 in the morning and ends about 1.30 in the afternoon. How are you going to survive? I have three children. I do survive every day. So you're going to make it? I do. I have a 13-month-old. He keeps me up every night, so I've got good practice. Right next to Cass. Uh, he's joining the SABC Sports Analyst team in terms of uh, cricket with 61 caps for South Africa in the ODIs. Uh, for more than a year, between 2012 and 2013, he was the number one ODI bowler in the world. Lonwabo Totsobe is with us here with us, the left-arm fast bowler, otherwise known as Lopsy. Why Lopsy now? What is that Lopsy? Lopsy, no, it's, it's, a very, it's a very long story. No, but yeah. give us the short and done. Lop <laughs> because I'm not going to no, be up. As, I'm not, I may not be up at two in the morning to hear <laughs> when Kes says to the cricket viewers, why are you called Lopsy? Nah, basically, um, when I started playing cricket, I was, I was a very lazy chap. And uh, yeah, so my fitness trainer used to call me Flopsy. And I, I actually don't know how it actually changed to, to Lopsy. But uh. Uh, hey, well. Um, I'm just taking it. Lonwabo, you're 30 years of age now. I have to ask you this question before we go far. You were in the 30-man squad. You were this close to going to the World Cup. How are you feeling? Is it, you know, because some think that it's, you're just a victim of bad luck. There's so many good bowlers right now in the team that haven't had injuries that you, had you been any other team anywhere else in the world, any other time in South African history, you'd be part of this World Cup team. Yeah, well, listen, you know, uh, obviously I'm hurting and uh, the, the, obviously the, 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 the selectors, they, 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 done, they, they did what they thought it was good for, for the country. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't dwell on something that's happened already. It's just that I, 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 at the moment I'm busy improving myself to be, to be fit. Uh, stronger and mentally tough you know uh, anything can happen in the World Cup I might be called up to to replace a bowler so that's why I've got this positive mindset of listen I, I might I might go there even if I don't go so you're staying ready you have to stay ready at all times well, okay, stretch, <laughs> anybody no, no. on the before no, Saturday no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You check out my flight, are there flights on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's no flights. No, 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 not, not that kind, not that kind of uh, ready, but uh, I'm hitting gym hard, I'm bowling uh, overs, and uh, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Cass, when it comes to him, before we get there, there is obviously a story that Lon Noabo maybe should have been part of this team. You're one of those who analyzes these things. What do you think? Listen, I think if he was fully fit, they would have struggled to keep him out because you mentioned what happened between 2012 and 2013. Number he's, one in the world. He's a very dedicated cricketer, and I don't know why they called you Flopsy, but every time I encountered him, he always wanted to take wickets. And um, with the new rules in cricket now, you need really aggressive fast bowling up front. You want get, to get wickets before batsmen can run away with things. I would have loved to have seen how you went in Australia, your conditions. It would have been fantastic. Would have been, but... The Protea's possible loss. We're not saying that because the selectors have made their choice. We're behind the Protea fire as they go there. Is a gain for the SABC because I'm proud to announce that you are going to be part of our uh, panel. You're going to be uh, giving us the analysis. And the nice thing, uh, Cass, before we talk to uh, Lonoaba about it is that this is a man who's on the inside. Yes. And not 10 years ago or 15 years ago, uh, a month ago, he was still trying to get into the team. 
I think you're seeing that in world cricket at the moment. A lot of young cricketers are getting behind the mic. They're getting into studios, talking about their experiences. And because of Lopsy's experience in T20 cricket and how things have moved along, he's going to be able to share really key insights, I hope so, uh, from the change room. And in terms of how things have changed in the game. So I am very excited to see him as part of the team. And we have a team that is also with a World Cup winning coach like Ray Jennings. So to have these kind of names, I think we're really, really lucky. The only thing we want to know from Lonoabo is, will we win the World Cup at long last eventually? Well, you know, you've got you've got other teams that are yeah, that, that yeah, are yeah, taking. Yeah, the, no, no, but listen, there's, 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 there's a lot of teams competing yes. there. But <laughs> because it's my team and I beg my boys, I'm, I'm definitely sure that uh, we're going to win it because they've got a good balanced side of the team. They've got guys that can uh, that that have been in the World Cup for for quite some time, and they've got youngsters who are proving that they they can take pressure. You know, okay. so yeah, I hear all of that. There's only one or two nyana problems that we're just going to attack here about uh, the cricket team that's gone down to Australia, and the first one is we've never beaten Australia in a knockout game. So the chances are we'll meet Australia somewhere, quarterfinal, semi-final, maybe even the final. Played them five times. We've never beaten Australia in a knockout game. That already for me says who do team. Cass. We've never won a knockout match at the World Cup. So that is our uh -uh. biggest who do is we've never won a knockout match at a World Cup. And uh, it's good to do well in the groups. And Australia's not the only hoodoo team. New Zealand's another hoodoo team, and they're a co-host. So when we go into this World Cup, I would say it's the most open World Cup we've had. There's about six teams that could win it. But every pundit that is talking about South Africa is saying South Africa will win the World Cup. Is there a name that you thought should be in the 15? Well, um I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put, um, well, if I was put in that position to be a selector, I'll definitely put probably Ryan McLaren because he's been consistently performing for, for South Africa in the past years. And, um, yeah, I think he, he was just unlucky to, to miss out. But, uh, like I say, he's a, he's a fighter as well. He's just like me. He doesn't give up easily. And uh, hopefully things turn out well for the boys that side. Tell us. When the dust settles, will it be Protea Fire? It must be Protea Fire. I think the uh, journey for the last four years has really been to rebuild after the disappointment of the 2011 World Cup. I would say the biggest concern for big teams are the small teams that could trip you up. Those, those matches you think you really don't have to turn up and be that strong, I think those are the teams that are really well prepared. But Protea Fire will burn brightly in Australia and New Zealand. I'm quite confident of that. Thank you very much to our uh, experts. They're going to be taking you through the Cricket World Cup. It starts on Friday evening, 11.30 at Sugu. Make sure you're watching it on SABC3, where the likes of uh, Lonoabo Totobe. Remember, I love saying this. He was the number one ODI bowler in the world for more than a year, the number one. Like there was no one above you. You were ever just looking down at the rest and saying, shame, you guys are not as good as me. That's the kind of analyst we have on the SABC. Uh, 13 February to the 29th of March, 2015. That is where you can watch all of the action.